Hello and welcome to Forest Tech. What you're listening to is recorded using a wireless lavalier microphone by Hotec. Now, there are two kinds of mic that comes in the box. You have the lapel mic, so the microphone remains directly in front of you when you speak, and it's best suitable to cover sports or action events. And then you have the second kind, which is the lavalier mic that you can tuck inside your shirt, just like this one. Both of these can simply connect to a transmitter and fairly screw tight as well to help them not fall and you can also clip them on. It comes in two packages, so you have a HU5 with one receiver, one lapel and one lavalier mic for an extremely affordable price tag. And then you have the second package that is a HU25 with one receiver but two lapels, two labs and two transmitters. This makes it ideal for recording interviews and so on. Now the reason why I have this up on a video is for the quality as you can hear right now. It's actually quite good. I am in a room with decent acoustic treatment. It sounds really good with both its high and low end frequencies. But if you listen to my previous episode about the Flex mouse, that was recorded with the same mic but in a living room with next to no acoustic treatment. And there is a hall and staircase, so in time it's certainly right to be conscious trying a mouse that has a new patented design to better adjust even though with a big reverb in my surrounding it did actually quite well capturing the right voice. As you can notice it does really well eliminating the noise from my surrounding. Now the part that should concern you as a buyer is that hiss. For the most part it may not bother a casual user or content creator like myself but will it bother me when I'm recording something for my professional client? Well it's a yes and a no. Yes, it will be of concern to me if the interview or the voice recording goes without any backup music and there is no noise in the environment or there's some sort of street noise to give it a little bit of fill. But if the voiceover and interview has a leverage to use a backup music, then this will allow us to overcome some of this hiss to a fair extent. Now, in either scenarios, you still have denoise filters. This makes it ideal for recording interviews and so on. It still doesn't sound bad at all. So I have it tested and liked it working for both my smartphone and cameras with the TRS and TRRS cables that comes in the box. It should on the paper run fine with the PC or laptop, but it didn't work on my PC or laptop. So I'm going to get in touch with Hotec and see what they have to say about it. But for the cameras and smartphones, it works just about fine. Now for a tag of less than $40, you have value features like there's a dedicated LED screen on the transmitter, you have recording volume control with these buttons on top, and overall a decent voice quality. Now, it also works up to 100 feet of distance if the line of sight is all clear. But if there are walls and occlusions in the middle, then this range can be less as well. So it also has a 650mAh battery which charges in about 2 hours and works for the same time and both of these gets charged via micro USB cable. So apart from the hiss which can also be denoised, I think the value you get with its light portable design, the built-in battery is everything you need to start shooting. Uh, would it be nice to have a carrying case with it. I do have an interview schedule so I will be testing this in field and will share my thoughts on the field test too. So that's everything about the Hotec U5 and U25. I will be putting the links in the description. If you like what you see and if you like what you hear, then a like and subs would always be appreciated. I'll see you in the next video. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.